All right, Pointy Nation, today we're going to try something new. Uh, we're going to call this Try It Tuesday, and we are going to experiment with the iridescent medium. I got this at Walmart. Um, it, eight and a half ounces, it was about $4, four dollars four ninety five or something like that. And I wanted to see if I could make some regular colors iridescent. And uh, these are some colors that I picked up on clearance at Michael's and I haven't used them for many things. And then this is a color that I got from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And I just wanted to spice these colors up. So what we're gonna do is use the iridescent medium to do that. And in my testing, what I found is you need at least two parts of medium to one part of paint. If you don't do that, you don't get the iridescent. So here's the red. And I know it's kind of hard to see here, but I, I can actually see the sparkles from the iridescent medium. When I went less, I actually did that with the green. The green doesn't have quite as much medium, but when I went less on this, it didn't, I didn't get to see the, the iridescent. So I had to get rid of some of the, the total mixture and then add some more iridescent and it still doesn't have quite as much. So I'm gonna do an open cup. And so my paints are thinner than normal. I'm sure you saw that with my red. Let's show that again. These are, don't even create a mound. It almost just immediately integrates with the bottom. That's how thin I want it for this because I want them to spread out in the in the black, which is going to be my base. That's why I colored the edges because black, um, I think it works better and then I don't have to do it later. So uh, what it is is one part paint, two parts pouring medium, and then three parts Floetrol. So uh, in my case, it's five grams of paint, 10 grams of pouring medium, or sorry, iridescent medium, and then 15 grams of my Floetrol. And then water, which ended up being about uh, 10 grams of water, honestly, to get it the consistency that I wanted it. So let's see how this works. And I want this to be subtle, so I'm not gonna use a whole lot of paint everywhere. I don't have any silicone in this. I just wanted to see how this would work all by itself. So my subtle went out the window. I did not have enough black. I didn't want to make it up, but I had plenty of other color. So we're going for super colorful. That's the benefit of, of acrylic pouring is you can kind of make stuff up on the fly as you go. So I don't see a lot of air bubbles and I don't want a ton of teeny tiny cells to pop up here. So I'm actually just gonna leave it just like this without without torching again and see how it turns out. So let's go in for a closer look. All right, I am really pleased with this painting. I was not expecting these colors to go this well. I haven't really liked these colors in the past, especially the green and the yellow. But with the iridescent medium and the Floetrol, it made the normal Floetrol cells just even bigger and even nicer. So I think the iridescent medium is a cell creator or at least a cell enhancer for sure. But look at some of this detail. There's some of these right here. Now I can see the shimmery iridescent right now when it's wet. So I have a feeling it's really gonna pop 
when it dries out. So I would say this is a experiment that is definitely a success and I will be trying this again in the future.